Okay, so Royal Decree. This card is actually really, really insane. Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Charles here, back again on a brand new video for y'all today. And today we're talking about a card called Royal Decree. So without further ado, drop the like button. Feel free to comment and always feel free to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get on to this video, shall we? So Royal Decree says, negate all other trap. <sighs> okay, start that over. Negate all other trap card effects on the field. So yes, so this card itself is my goodness this card is really really good in some shape form you know what i'm saying like did i just say shape form anyways like this card itself is really really good like you know how many freaking trap card floodgates are there you got macro cosmos you got rivalry of the warlords anti-spell fragrance oh that's no problem let's just use world decree let's just stop every single f trap floodgate on the field as possible like this card itself is so freaking good and another and uh, okay okay and another thing is this card freaking royal decree it stops basically eldritch eldritch we're talking about you know what i'm saying freaking eldritch trout tricks you name it you know like this card is just so good to the point where like you just want to quit the game type thing you know what i'm saying and like royal decree however it can be outed by some cards obviously spell trap removals obviously especially nightmare phoenix of all cards nightmare mother freaking phoenix like this card is so unfortunate to be outed because like now that you see imperial order being banned you have to deal with three skill drains and then rivalry of the warlord at three goes in match at three you name it how many freaking trap floodgates you have to deal with on a regular basis an IRL Yu-Gi-Oh, online Yu-Gi-Oh, and remote duel, obviously. I mean, even though IRL, I mean, even though freaking online and remote duel are still technically the same thing. Well, yeah, some whatever, but that's off topic shit. But anyways, like, dude, World of Cree, like I said, if you just use this card as a side option, you obviously most likely win the game. Because let's say if you're facing Eldest Trap, for instance, and then like game two, you, I mean, actually game one, you scoop because obviously he has, he's going first or she's going first using Eldest Trap, obviously having all those good cards behind. And then you don't even have Harpy's Feather Duster or Cosmic Cyclone or even Twin Twister, even though it's one of, one of my favorite spell cards ever. Twin Twister is just too good. But anyways, though, like if you don't have none of those ST removals or don't even have like any way to get any way to out their back row, then that's unfortunate. Okay, let's just go game two. Game two, World Decree as your side option. Basically, just use three World Decrees, obviously, as your side option. Use that for game two. Freaking set that shit. And then afterwards, if they're going to try to use Eldritch, well, then, I mean, obviously, Eldritch first effect, obviously. And, um, you know, if they're going to out that World Decree, don't worry. You already have two more World Decrees in the back, right? So, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just use those two World Decrees. You're going to be all set. So, you're going to be Gucci. They're not going to do anything about it. I mean, they're, they can still activate graveyard, trap graveyard effects if you're going to run Eldritch, obviously. Elixir, Scarlet Sanguine, which in my opinion, that card needs to be at one because it's just so broken. And anyways, like, there's just so much to say about this card. Yes, I think this card is criminally underrated in so many ways, shape, or form. But the downside of this card itself, it can't be outed by STs, obviously spell cards, and then Nightmare Phoenix. But yeah... What do you guys think about this video? Because personally, Royal Decree itself is just too broken. And it's just easy to out at the same time. And like, dude, there's just gonna be many encounters to where like, dude, you know what? Y'all need to run Royal Decree. Because floodgates are just gonna take over Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, guys, this is just a video discussion regarding about Royal Decree. And honestly, I feel like I might just make more videos about just any type of staples that should be used or somewhat not usable. So if you guys think about this um potential series, maybe um drop it down in the comment section because like I feel like I feel like some people should really address about these certain cards that should be potentially used for side options or in fact main deck options. So yeah, guys, um Without further ado, this is Charles, and I'm out of here, so peace out, y'all. Girl, I can't take it, these temptations. Keep my heart racing, make love faces. I'm not good with changes, I'm still good with wages. Diamonds on your bracelet, you ain't gotta say shit.